Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get the latest Android apps in exposed modules. Now the XDA Developers Forum is a great resource for all things Android, but it's not exactly the most user-friendly place on the internet. Well, thanks to a new beta app they're publishing, we may finally be able to get all of the benefits of XDA without having to deal with the drawbacks. The app is called XDA Labs, and for now it'll need to be sideloaded, so that means you'll have to enable unknown sources in Android's main settings menu under security. But once you've taken care of that, just head to step 1 in my full tutorial on Gadget Hacks to grab a copy of the APK installer file. Then once you have the APK saved to your device, go ahead and tap the download complete notification to launch it. From here press install, and within a few seconds you'll be ready to try it out. Now technically you don't have to have an account to use this app, but to download apps and modules you'll need to either sign in with an XDA account or create a new one for free. Then once you've taken care of that part, you'll be taken to the main menu. All the interesting stuff is in the XDA Labs section, so go ahead and select that entry from the side navigation menu. From here the first tab will give you all the latest Android development news, but if you swipe over to the next tab, you'll start to see some of the really cool stuff. First up is the app repository. By default, this is ordered by the latest uploads to the XDA DevDB, which is a great spot to find new and unique apps. So if you come across something that piques your interest, simply select it from this list, then you'll see the overview page. This gives you some more information about the app, as well as screenshots, and if you want to try it out, just tap the download button to grab the APK and install the app. From there, XDA Labs has a pretty big selection of exposed modules as well, but to use this feature, you'll of course need to be rooted with the exposed framework install. So if you meet those requirements, tap continue on this first little pop-up, then from there, hit grant on the super user access request. Beyond that, this works exactly the same as the app section, so you can browse the latest exposed modules, tap one that interests you, then install it using the floating action button. Finally, there's also a great selection of wallpapers in XDA Labs. When you head to this section, you'll see thumbnails of all the images, so select one that interests you to see it in full screen. At this point, all you have to do is tap the floating action button in the bottom right corner, and this image will be set as your default wallpaper automatically. So as you can see, it's a very user-friendly app, which means XDA is finally accessible to the masses. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.